Hi, this is Ivy from Gypsy Road. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the art that's involved in The Good and the Beautiful. If you haven't heard of The Good and the Beautiful yet, it is a fairly new curriculum from Jenny Phillips. It's gaining a lot of ground lately. Um, and art appreciation, art instruction is incorporated into the lessons themselves. I'm going to be focusing on language arts today. And I'm going to start, though, with handwriting. In um, The Good and the Beautiful, they do a lot of copy work and handwriting. Here we've worked on our ABCs. Um, but they also copy the presidents in order. They copy states and capitals. And it's just a way to reinforce what they're learning. Um, they do a lot of the um, cubed, I guess you could call it, art here because it helps them to break it down into finer details and to pay attention to all of the little things that are going on. And that helps to improve their fine motor skills, which will eventually translate over into um, better handwriting. A lot of days they'll have a handwriting patch and they'll, they'll also get to draw a picture. Over here, there's another example. Um, but in this case, they were given half of the picture and they had to draw the other half. Again, it's attention to detail, um, putting things in the right perspective and the right size. And this is just another example of one of those cubed drawings where they have to break it down. My son actually made his own little sheets that he can just see one cube at a time and draw that one piece. Really, he is my attention to detail child. I'm going to go through the rest of them in order. We have not done kindergarten level one or level two, so I'm going to start with level three, which is the orange book. And there are so many beautiful pictures on these pages. They will tell you a bit about the um, author, his biography or her biography. Um, and generally it's incorporated with the geography that they're learning in the course too. So this one, uh, course three, covers Europe. So all of the art comes from artists from Europe or are uh, drawings from Europe. They will study the courses or, or the... They will study the artwork, and then as part of the course, they will write about it, they will talk about it, they might practice the um, grammar skills that they're practicing or their spelling words in relation to the picture itself at this level. And here's another one. They've looked at the picture, and then he was asked to form different types of sentences based on this picture. At this level, it's really more about art appreciation than it is about drawing itself. When we get to level four is when we really start doing art itself. And level four comes with its own creative companion that is just so colorful and beautiful. Your geography is incorporated in here, so we have lots of maps. Um, there's a cooking project in here as well. Um, but level four is where we really start our art instruction, and level four focuses on pastels. So one of the first things we learn is different techniques for pastels. And there are many, many pastel lessons through here. Um, you're still writing about pictures, you're still talking about pictures and learning about those authors, but we're also stepping it up, um, and there are projects included. For this one, they're going to be drawing the pair using the pastel um, techniques that they have learned and it walks you through it step by step. All of the different steps until you finally get your completed project. When they get to level five, we're still working on pastels. Level five um, talks about Europe again. So in this case we're looking at different postcards, paintings of a different place. Um, we're identifying the people, we're talking about the people, we're writing about the people. So we're looking at art, we're learning about different artists, many of whom I had not even heard of before, um, and then we're incorporating that art into our studies. On um, level five also, they get a writer's notebook, so they're going to start writing a whole lot more in this level. In this one, they're looking at the picture, and then they're learning different writing techniques. For this case, we're learning about different colors. So they're told to use as many different pinks 
or as many different greens. My son chose to do green because pink was too girly for him. Um, pick out as many different colors as they can. And then in one of the next assignments, they use those colors to write a piece about the um, painting. Over here, they're doing watercolors. We've moved to watercolors. Start with pastels, they move into watercolors. Um, it walks them step by step through drawing this cherry. And then we're looking at this painting and we're writing about it again. Level six is in Australia and New Zealand. And we're getting into pen and ink, which really made my son happy. Um, here we're working with lighthouses. They teach you step by step how to draw the lighthouse. This one is actually supposed to be pastels. So I guess we're having some carryover still from the other levels. Australian Sunrise. He really enjoyed doing this one. It walks you step by step through every single piece of it. But we still have um, the art where we're learning about the artist, we're learning about the biographies. This art is about New Zealand and Australia, since that's what the geography for this level is. Um, and then it wants you to write about it and still incorporate your grammar skills and your writing techniques. So it really builds upon each level. Um, okay, now we're into the pen and ink. And here we're learning about perspective. It walks them step by step through drawing that horizon line and making this road. And you can see he started on it, but this is the lesson he's on. He hasn't quite finished it. While we haven't gotten to level seven yet, I have taken a moment to look through it. And similar to the others, it just builds upon each level that it's been on. It looks like the focus here is on the east coast of the United States. It might be the whole United States. Like I said, we haven't gone through it. Um, in this case, they are going to be writing about some paintings. We've got two paintings of Appalachia. One and two. They learn about the artist, Curly, Walt Curly. They um, write about the paintings, and then they take their time and learn how to draw a painting that's similar to that. We're also learning about perspective and vanishing points. Not only are they learning about perspective and vanishing points in terms of art, but level seven, since it's meant for around eighth to ninth grade, gets into some deeper character, and so it talks about um, your perspective in relations with others and your vanishing point um, and how that affects the way that you see the world around you. And finally, they start doing some anat um, anatomical drawings as well. Um, I don't think my son will enjoy that since he doesn't like drawing people, but I like that all of the levels combined really work to try and give a broad base of um, art that's available. So we've got all of these different levels. If you have not done any of the earlier levels, you do not have to start over with kindergarten. We started at level three because that's where we were, and I don't feel like the kids have missed anything. Um, so if you're interested, this incorporates a lot of art into the studies. There's also a great history program and science programs. I just didn't focus on those today. Thank you very much. I hope this helps.